Hi guys, and a couple of days ago, Kodi changed their whole website layout. So today, if you're looking to download Kodi onto your Amazon Fire TV, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it, where you need to go on the website, etc. Let's go. Hi guys, it's ASBIT and welcome back to a brand new video. Like I said, today we're talking Fire TV, we're talking Kodi install. It's <coughs> like furball there. So I'm gonna jump straight onto my Fire TV and I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to do in order to install Kodi 17.1, which is the latest version of Kodi. Remember to like and share if you found this video helpful and enjoyed it, and of course subscribe if you're new to the channel. Also make sure you hit that little notification bell next to the subscribe button, so then every time I post a video, you will be notified so that you can get all the greatest and latest news. Okay, so we're on the Amazon home screen and what you wanna do is you wanna go across to where it says settings, and down to device. Once you click on device, you've then got developer options here, and that's what you wanna click on. And then in here, you've got ADB debugging, USB debugging, and apps from unknown sources. Make sure that apps from unknown sources is switched on. And then you wanna come back out to the home page, to your main menu. Now this is obviously the latest version of Amazon Fire. If you're on the older version of Amazon Fire, you simply need to go down the left hand side of your main page because all your headings are on that side and you wanna click on settings at the bottom left. You then wanna scroll across to system and again, you'll find developer options in there. And again, you do the same thing, just make sure apps from unknown sources is switched on. Then once you've got that on either Fire version, you then wanna to go to your search section here and you wanna type in downloader. Now there are many ways of downloading Kodi. Uh, this is one way. This is actually the way that Kodi themselves recommend. So of course, if it's good enough for Kodi, then it's good enough for me. So once you've typed in downloader, you then wanna click down to downloader and click enter. And it will load up with this downloader app. Now, if you don't have this app already downloaded, it will give you the option to click get once you click on it. Obviously I've got it, so I don't need to install it again. So I just click open. Once opened, this is the page you're going to get. And of course, at this point, this is where you enter the website for the download of Kodi. So the actual website you need is, it starts off with HTTP colon forward slash forward slash. You simply make sure that your cursor is on that line. You click on it and you type in Kodi.tv forward slash download and then you click on download there it'll then say your url you've entered to a web page you want to open it with the built-in web browser now you click yes so you want to click on so instead of clicking cancel you want to click open in browser and it will load up with the web page and a ready-made mouse toggle, which is very, very handy for this section here. This is where this is better than ES file, because ES file, you will need to have your own mouse toggle. This comes ready-made with its own mouse toggle on this web page. And at this point, you simply scroll down. This is now the new website layout that happened over the last few days on the Kodi website. And you want to click on the Android section. Again, this is for the new version of Fire TV. If you've got the old version, I will show you something that you might want to try if this isn't working for you, because as far as I'm aware, the old version of Fire TV might not have the required software for Kodi 17. I may be wrong, and I've not actually researched it that much, so this may work for you, but again, if it doesn't, I'll show you how to try a different way to get Kodi if you're on the old Fire TV. But if you're on the new Fire TV, then you want to click on Android here, and it'll load up with this page, recommended and development builds. Development builds will be like Kodi 18, things like that. But again, I wouldn't advise downloading them just yet. So you wanna scroll down and the section you want is release. And you wanna click on the 32-bit ARM one here. So we click on that and then it will say file download progress and it will begin to download onto your system. Okay, once this is finished downloading, you'll be given this page here. You click down and across to install. 
and it will then start installing Kodi 17 onto your Amazon Fire TV. Again, this works with Fire TV Box, Fire TV Stick, the new version, and possibly the old version. Again, like I said, if it doesn't work on the old version, I will go back in in a second and show you where you might be able to download it from. So once it's installed, you then go down and click on open just to show you that it has loaded. And as you can see, Kodi version 17.1 Krypton, which is the latest stable current release, which is available on the Google Play Store. And it's loaded up. As you can see, you are ready to rock with Kodi 17.1. So I'm just going to come back out of that and I'm going to now show you potentially if this doesn't work for you where you might be able to download it from on the old version of the Fire TV. So if this isn't working for you then try, you do everything exactly the same as what I've just showed you but once you've got to this home page and you've typed in the URL that I showed you and then click on download and then open in browser instead of clicking on the little Android uh, the little Android icon here what you want to do is you want to scroll all the way to the bottom and you want to click on older releases the here section so those builds here click on that and then you want to click on android and then you want to click on and you want to click on arm you then want to click on old and you want to scroll down to where it says Kodi 16.1 and then you simply click on the Kodi 16.1 jarvis apk here and you would then download it onto your old version of the fire tv now I would advise installing Kodi 17.1 now if you haven't already. If you're still on 16.1, then the reason why I would update is because a lot of the streaming sites and things like that now are using HTTPs instead of what it was before. And this is generally not supported on Kodi 16.1. And because of this, you will start getting errors and things like that when you're trying to stream certain content. So I would definitely advise upgrading to Kodi 17.1. Question of the day, if you do have an old version of the Amazon Fire TV, like I said, I don't don't have one I've just got the new version so if you have got the old version let me know in the comment section below whether this install works or if you can only use Kodi 16.1 or if there's an alternative way of getting Kodi 17.1 onto the Fire TV old version and like I said there are numerous ways of downloading Kodi 17.1 onto your Fire TV but this one is the way that has been recommended by Kodi themselves so it is probably uh, the best way to go remember to like and share if you found this video helpful and enjoyed it and of course subscribe if you're new to the channel five videos a week all dedicated to media streaming tutorials product device and app reviews i'll see you in the next one say it's BYT, peace out hi guys and today we have the four remaining add-ons from my top seven to use in april